Welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this video clip, we're going to talk about the reciprocal function family. All right. So <coughs> the reciprocal function is f of x equals one over x. These here are nothing else than uh, function related to one over x. All right. This one is move down k units, move up k units, move right, left reflected over the x-axis, reflected over the y-axis. Now, another thing that you may want to remember is that a reciprocal function looks like this, right? With these two branches. We discussed about this in a previous video clip. Now, what I really like to use for graphing a reciprocal function is this idea of vertical asymptote, which is x equals h, and horizontal asymptote, which is y equals k. Now let's see how we use this. And by the way, these two guys will help us to find the domain and the range. So we're looking here to number one. If you remember in the previous slide, we had one over x minus h plus k. So it's very important to remember minus h. And if, if we match the thing here, what do you notice? x, I'm sorry, uh, h will be zero, right? A should be zero and k will be 3. And these two uh, no, numbers have two meanings, right? h equals 0, like I said, is the uh, vertical asymptote. So it's going to be this gender one. And k equals 3 is the horizontal asymptote. 1, 2, 3, we have this guy here. Right? And now we have the graph. Remember, the reciprocal function, they look like that. This is the graph. But also, we have the domain and the range. Domain is any number but zero, right? So you see how related these two vertical asymptotes. So we cannot plug zero for x. And the domain is any number but three. We cannot get three out of this function. Now, let's see how the graph looks like using the computer algebra system. You see, it's very similar. Uh, horizontal asymptote, vertical asymptote, other than that, very good. And if you need to be more accurate with your uh, graph, pick some value for x, find y, and you should be fine. Uh, pause this video clip and try to do number two, please. If you end up with this answer, then you did a wonderful job. So yes, uh, the domain any real number but zero, x cannot be zero, vertical asymptote h equals zero, the range any uh, real number but, but uh, negative one, and the uh, horizontal asymptote is negative one. And look at here, the graph done by a computer algebra system. Let's move to the next question, number three and four. And on this one, what do you notice? Uh, here, we're going to have h equals negative three and k equals zero. And that should tell us, hey, the domain, any real number but negative three and the range, any real number but zero. And how is the graph? Right, the graph, look at here. Again, we're going to draw the asymptotes. H equals negative 3, 1, 2, 3, this one, the vertical one. Uh, K equals 0, this one. And, and we can grab the two branches of the reciprocal function. We can see the same story here. Pause this little clip and try number 4.
If you have something like that, then you did a wonderful job. The domain anirial number but two, the range anirial number but zero, vertical asymptote h equals two, horizontal asymptote uh, k equals zero, and you see the graphs done by hand and by a computer algebra system. Okay. Let's take a look to number five, and you're gonna do number six. And here, what do we notice? X cannot be one, and Y cannot be two. H will be one, K will be two. Hey, what's the meaning, if you remember? If we do the X and Y axis, right? X cannot be one, that means the domain is any real number but one. How are we gonna draw this vertical asymptote at one? Y equal cannot be two, that means the range is any number but two, and we're gonna draw a vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote at two. And now we have enough information to sketch a graph by hand. Of course, if you want more information, pick value for x, find y's, and you should be more accurate. And you see, this is number five done with a computer algebra system. Go ahead and pause and try number six. If you end up with something like that for number six, then you did an excellent job. The domain any real number but negative two, the range any real number but negative three, the uh, vertical asymptote h equals negative two, the horizontal asymptote k equals negative three, and you have a sketch there, and you have the graph here done by a computer algebra system where you can see the same things. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C-square for more math video clips. Thank you.